I'm gonna see what. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. Oh my gosh, unexpected. That's really funny. What about? <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, I think Frisk is the best. Okay. <clears throat> wait, is his eye? Oh, no way. It has a, like effect that the eyes follow you. That's so cool. <clears throat> okay. Okay, <laughs> look, it's just showing up. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's Audrey, or for this episode, Frisk. What, what? Today we're gonna be playing this Undertale obby and it's out in the middle of space and you can be some of the Undertale characters and you can explore the obby and it's gonna be really fun. Anyway, uh, let's get right into this. I just wanna say really quick, look at that Sans. Oh my gosh, his eyes like follow you. It has that like really creepy effect. Oh, it's so creepy, oh my gosh. Okay. Whew, here we go. <laughs> but I just want to say I look absolutely amazing as Frisk. We're going to go back to the beginning here. I just want to show you guys some of the other ones. We've got Sans. <laughs> Sans looks awesome. We've also got Papyrus. <gasps> oh my gosh. And Undyne. And then we've got little dummy frog and Wimson, which Wimson is absolutely adorable. Look. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then Froggit, of course, and Dummy. I think I'm gonna be Wimson just because my hair, it matches up. This is beautiful. We are gonna be Radio JH Wimson here. <laughs> or Wim, Wimdry, I don't know. I think Radio JH Wimson is better. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is pretty much just a nice basic obby, but with beautiful, you know what? I to get a better look at Sans. I want to get a better look at Sansa boy. Sansa boy. Um, but it's pretty much just a nice basic obby with a bunch of Undertale characters throughout the entire thing. Sans, hello. But I really like how this is out in space. It's so pretty. Like seriously, guys. Hello, Sans. Hello. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I just went back a couple stages to look, get a look, good look at him. I just realized I only really looked at his eyes during, oh. Well, hey, I, maybe I should have just done that originally and then I would have teleported up to my stage, which was probably only one ahead, wasn't it? Yeah, oh no, man, no, I'm not Wimson. Guys, guys, now I'm not Wimson. Okay, we're going back to the beginning. This is, I'm sorry guys, this is weird. This, I've never really, <laughs> okay. I gotta be Wimson for at least 10 stages though. I mean, if I die any farther, I'm probably not gonna go back to the beginning again. I just, I messed up. I, I need to be Wimson. I have to be Wimson. I need at least a couple minutes as Wimson. Wimson, Wimson. Which if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure I remember this correctly. Wimson is a very like very beginning of the game uh, character monster that you encounter. I think you don't even need to do anything to spare him. I think they're just too afraid of everything. <laughs> oh, and look at the little annoying dog or little doggo. He's so cute. Or AKA Toby Fox. If you guys didn't know already, there's the little um uh, not waterfall. There's the little Snowden um, door that gets unlocked if you dodge all the credits. Um. I won't, I won't spoil it, but I'll just say there's a little annoying dog in there. And um, you guys can search up a video if you want to see what's inside. Uh, but it's really cool. I, I watch a lot of Easter egg videos. Oh, this, this is giving me a very like waterfall feel right now. I, I love Undertale, by the way, guys. Um, <laughs> if you could tell already, um, if you guys want to see what's inside the door, if you don't know already, if you want to see what's inside it, definitely make sure to look it up. That's a really cute little Easter egg. I love it. That's probably one of my favorite little Easter eggs in the game. Um, very, very cool. Partially because I love the doggos. I love Annoying Dog. I love every single one of them. I like Lesser Dog and Greater Dog. They're all so amazing. Oh, dog Marriage, though, guys. They are the cutest couple ever. Hey, it's Papyrus. Hello. Hello, hello, and there's an even bigger version of him, the more pixelated. Hello, Papyrus. 
Ah, uh, I love this game so much. Guys, I love Undertale. <laughs> I know I just said that like 50 times, but seriously, I got into it earlier this year, like April or June. That's when I started like listening to the music and I like kind of discovered it a little more. I've actually seen, no, <laughs> I made it past stage 10. Don't worry. I survived as a whim son past stage 10. So that's great. That is wonderful. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes. I started like really getting into Undertale about April or May or June or sometime around then. I said April or June. I forgot about May. <gasps> uh, somewhere around then. I think it was more on the May or June part than the April, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I had actually, for a long time, since like around when it first came out, I had seen like Undertale pictures pop up everywhere. Um, like whenever I was going on Google, searching up something, uh, I don't know stuff like that. I had seen it pop up for a while and I had, so I knew what it was, but I didn't know what it was. I just knew that it was a game or some sort of fandom out there. <gasps> Flowey the flower. Oh, hello. Uh, it's really an amazing game though. Okay. Okay. I need to really quick do both of these work. No, we got to go this way. Okay. And then we go across and then we go forward. And we go across. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I really discovered it though um, in May or June. That's when I started like watching the walkthroughs on that. Or like uh, I watched the, I, I'm really glad I did. I watched the pacifist route. Someone go through the pacifist route first. And then I watched the genocide route. That is like so sad. Especially, especially after you watch the pacifist route because you get to learn the backstory on all of these wonderful characters and then it just oh, oh it's really sad guys and if you don't if if you're for some reason watching this undertale video and you don't know what undertale is or if you haven't really watched the game or gone through the game or anything definitely make sure to watch gosh darn it how do i keep messing up right there Definitely make sure to watch someone go through it or go through it on your own, which I am really glad. Um, very recently, I think beginning of October, somewhere around then, very recently, I finally got to play the game. I did it. Yes. Success. I finally got to play the game for myself. Um, and so I went, I did the true pacifist route where I didn't hurt nobody. No, no, no. Never used that fight button except for the the Asgore fight, of course, because I think you have to use it there. Um, and so that was the only time I used it. But anyway, I went through the game and I actually got a better understanding of it all. It was really, it was really amazing. Okay. Gosh darn it. I don't think I can tell. I, I don't know because I kind of touched the white and the purple. I'm assuming I cannot touch the purple because the white is right here. Yep. Okay. Um, but it, it really helps going through the game on your own as well. I got to do all those, I got to check out all those, <laughs> I got to check out all those little like things that maybe the person who's going through the walkthrough didn't check out. I got to um, experience all these battles myself. I got to choose the actions, like what I did. Uh, it was, it was nice. It gave me a much better understanding and it made me, um, a little more happier to be a part of the Undertale fandom. I finally got to be a part of it a little more and say like, I actually played Undertale and I finished it. Oh, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Why did I have to fall right there? Um, it, it, yeah, I, it, I completed the game. I completed the whole game. I went through, I did the flowey boss fight and then I went back through, um, I went through the lab. Um, Alphys's, Alphys's, yeah, <laughs> that sounds weird. Uh, I went through Alphys' lab, and then I did the final, um, the final boss fight, which I won't say anymore, just in case you haven't really gone through all that. But that's that's I did all of that, and I feel happy about it. Uh, it was so hard, though. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I did okay up until I messed up a ton on Undyne because I totally forgot that you have to run. 
And then <laughs> I messed up on Asgore, but um, I, I finally, finally got it. It was so hard. Whoa. But yeah, it was so worth it in the end. I'm like, oh my gosh. I started crying quite a few times in that. <laughs> Um, I almost started, I actually, I think I shed a few tears when I saw Toriel for the first time, when I encountered Flowey. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. But it, it, it's like sad happy, because you're like, oh my gosh, I've seen these characters all over the internet. Um, and then you finally, oh, look, it's a frisk. And then you finally get to like see them for yourself in the game. It was great. And thankfully, my name actually fit into the name slot. It just barely fit. Um, but, oh, look. This is who I was for Halloween, guys. I was Frisk for Halloween. Um, I actually read quite a few of your comments on my Halloween picture I posted um, with my costume. And I saw quite a few of you actually being characters um, from Undertale as well. I think I might have seen another Frisk in there. I, I can't remember because don't forget this was like over a month or almost a month ago now. Um, but that was that was really cool seeing you guys have the same idea of like, oh, let's support this wonderful game by dressing up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. I'm sorry this was probably very boring, me rambling about how much I love Undertale. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... But yeah, oh, oh geez, oh my gosh. Okay, I did not know these are disappearing. Okay, that was scary. That was, hey, we're almost to the end. That's awesome. Okay, which way do I go on here? Um, why do I, huh. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going on this path. That's very strange. Was that just supposed to like trick you? I'm gonna really quick. Oh, that was a, that was a huge mistake. But yeah, I went right through the path. That's just there to tr like mess you up and trick you and stuff. Okay, I can deal with that. <laughs> that is why you move your camera to test the paths. Gotta make sure. Okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there. What? We're actually at stage 44. We are doing pretty good. It's only been 12 and a half minutes. Um, we're almost done though. Look at that, it's right there. It's a little, it's a little playground. Um, I wanna say though, real quick guys, the ending of the true pacifist route is so worth it. Like the credits and all that, like seeing everyone's, how their life, ah! Gosh darn it, I died. I died. Whew, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, like seeing in the, in the um, outro, the, uh, what, do I, what did I call it? The credits. Gosh darn it. Why well, couldn't I couldn't remember the name for a second even though I had literally just said it seconds ago. Um, it's really sweet seeing what their life is after the game. Um, especially Toriel. If you guys know what I mean. I'm trying to say this in the... Oh. Okay then. I died. <laughs> I'm trying to say this in the best way I can to where I don't spoil anything. Um... I really like Toriel's life after after the game. No, gosh darn it. Grass patches, why do you do this to me? <laughs> it's like we're in Pokemon now. I don't know, I don't know what that has to do with Pokemon. Just grass patches and the fact that like wild Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know what this had to do with Pokemon. This is Undertale. This is completely different. <sighs> okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. We are climbing the staircases. To claim our victory, bam, chakalaka. <laughs> that was weird. Woo, we made it. Look at, look at, there's slides and there's, what is this thing? Is it, I don't know what that is, but there's a lot of slides here. Let's, let's go down the blue slide. Climb it up, climb it. <laughs> and then I just sit on the top. I said climb it up and then I just sit down. Okay, let's try that again. Nope. Right there. There we go. Oh, I fell on my face, but it's okay. That was so worth it. Slides are so much fun. Though, honestly, I like swings the most. Oh my gosh, I want to put on this face really quick. <gasps> Yay! Oh, we get fire path or an ice path. I am obviously going for the ice path. There we go. Oh, do they have... They don't have squid hats! 
Why do obbies never have squid hats anymore? It's it makes me so sad. Oh, they have squid hats. Oh my gosh. Never mind. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I honestly do like never see squid hats anymore in obbies. Thankfully, this one has beautiful squid hats. I never see the chicken outfits anymore, though. That's always sad. Um, but guys, um, that is going to be it for this Undertale obby. Uh, that was probably very boring. I was just rambling about Undertale the entire time. But uh, that was a fun little obby. Very nice and basic, just going through some very generic um, obby. It's a great way to, like, what, am, what is it? What am I trying to say? Increase your obby skill. I don't know. It's a good, this is a nice basic obby if you just want to kind of go through and admire the beautiful Undertale stuff in here. Um, but guys, thank you all so much for watching. I love you, my Doritos. Goodbye.